everyone. Today we'll continue to speak about Kyiv and the topic is a trip around Kyiv lesson 2 and 3. Let's start. Have you ever been to Kyiv? Yes, I have. Which tourist attractions have you ever visited? I have seen Marinsky Palace and St. Sophia's Cathedral. Have you ever been to Kyiv? No, I haven't, but I would like to go there one day. I'd like to have a walk along Rishatik Street and visit the cave Pecherska Lavra. Як ви побачили, у нас тут є два варіанти питань, да? одне питання і два варіанти відповіді на так і ні. I would like, я б хотів би. So, let's remember our historical places in Kyiv. Repeat after me. St. Sophia's Cathedral. St. Sophia's Cathedral. Independence Square. Independence Square. The Kyiv Pecherska Lavra. The Kyiv Pecherska Lavra. Hreshatik Street. Hreshatik Street. Andreevsky Uzvis. Andreevsky Uzvis. The Golden Gate. The Golden Gate. The House with Chimeras. The House with Chimeras. Marinsky Palace. Marinsky Palace. St. Andrew's Church. St. Andrew's Church. Choose the correct variant. Where well, we've got the Golden Gate. Maybe here or maybe this one. Yep, Golden Gate is photo number one. Next, Hrishatik Street. Yep, it's here. St. Andrew's Church. Maybe here. Now it's the second photo. Now let's watch the video about historical places in Kyiv with Julia. Let's start. Welcome to beautiful city of Kyiv. My name is Julia and I'm going to be your guide here. Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, is one of the most fascinating and underrated places in all Europe. Today we're going to show you the best places to visit. So watch this video till the end. Kryshatik, the main street of Kyiv, took its name from the word Christ. Here you can find a lot of bars, restaurants, cafes and world-known brand shops. So I recommend you to start exploring Kyiv from this place. There is also a huge shopping mall underground where you can find almost everything from souvenirs to food and groceries. And this is St. Andrew Church, one of the most gorgeous churches in Kiev, located in the Podil district. To get to it, people must walk up to Andreevsky Dyson, which is a major tourist attraction where you can buy typical Ukrainian souvenirs. From this place, we can see all Podil and Dnipro River. After visiting St. Andrew Church, you can continue and go directly to a landscape alley. It's a free entrance park for kids and adults full of heroes from different fairy tales and cartoons. Overlooking the Dnipro River is the Pecherska Lavra. This monastery complex is known for its iconic golden domes, one of the most notable elements of the Kyiv skyline. It was built in the 11th century as an important center of Eastern Orthodox Christianity, and it attracts millions of tourists and pilgrims every year. Standing proudly at the top of a hill is the statue of the strong lady, the Motherland. It was installed in 1981 to honor the heroes of Soviet Union and she is exactly 17 meters higher than her colleague in New York, the Statue of Liberty. For a small fee you can get to the very top and enjoy the most breathtaking view of Kiev. 
This Soviet-style monument is actually a steel rainbow that symbolizes friendship between two nations, Russians and Ukrainians. All of this place is monumental complex. You can see a lot of different things here. And one of the best is the view. Here you can meet beautiful sunset and have a peaceful walk. Thank you, Julia, so much. So Kyiv is really very interesting and uh, historical place. Um, it's really nice. So now open your books at page 141, exercise 3. Let's read the text about a trip around Kyiv. So here we've got new words. Admire. Admire Miluvatisa. Crafts. Crafts Ramesla, Yaroslav the Wise, Yaroslav the Wise, Yaroslav Mudri, Entrance, Entrance, Vihit, Ancient and Modern, Ancient and Modern, Starovinny i Suchasny. So let's read. Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, is on the Dnipro River. The city is more than 1,500 years old. The main street of the capital is Khrushchev Street. Independent Square is at the northern end of Khrushchev Street. It is the most popular place for national celebrations and holiday events. The historical heart of the city is Podil. All the visitors who came here admire St. Andrew's Church. Andreevsky is with this and is very popular with tourists. It's the best place to buy Ukrainian souvenirs and art and crafts. St. Sophia's Cathedral is famous for its beautiful mosaics and frescoes. The Golden Gate is another monument from the 11th century. It was built during the time of Yaroslav the Wise and it served as the main entrance to the city. Kiev is a city where ancient and modern live side by side. There are so many places to visit that we can see everything during one short trip. So, after text, we've got exercise 4, page 142, read and match. Read and match. So, let's check. The first, St. Andrew's Church, splendid design, carved ornamentations and sculpture. St. Sophia's Cathedral, beautiful mosaics and frescoes. The Golden Gate, served as the main entrance to the city. And the last one, Andreas Kiusvis, the best place to buy souvenirs. Very good. So, your homework will be retell about Kyiv, about 50-60 words. See you later, bye!